Today on Rayplex University, it's how to measure catalyst. Hi, I'm Ray Belsky from Rayplex, and today on Rayplex University, we're introducing our new AccuMeasure Resin Catalyst System with built-in graduation scale. This feature will help in getting the perfect catalyst to resin ratio. This development was gained from over 50 years of fabrication experience. Check out the experience page on the Rayplex website showing all the products fabricated over our 50 years of fabrications. So let's get started. Over the years, one of the most common questions we get asked is how much catalyst or hardener to add to the resin or gel coat? Not enough catalyst or hardener can cause improper curing, no curing at all, soft spots, very poor structural strength. Low catalyst levels can cause gel coat to wrinkle or alligator when laminated on top of. Too much can cause the resin to go into a high exotherm, which means it generates too much heat. There's also a danger. It could self-ignite or catch fire. Too much heat can damage a mold, cause it to distort. Too much catalyst can get into the gel coat, will cause it to change color and yellow. So what have we done as an industry first? Yes, you saw it first on Rayplex. Rayplex has added graduation marks to the side of a catalyst bottle on the following sizes. Half ounce, two ounce, four ounce. As a simple guideline, you can use the following one and a half percent ratio for both one liter cans or 3.78 gallon liter cans. If you use a quarter can of resin, then use a quarter bottle of catalyst. Make sure you don't mix up a gallon at once as you will get an induction mixing process causing runaway high temperature curing. Another concept to be mindful of, the colder the temperature, the longer it takes to cure. The warmer the temperature, the faster it will cure. Using a half ounce or two ounce or four ounce bottle will allow you to measure the amount of accurate amount of catalyst required. Here are some of the other measuring tools we offer. Graduated plastic containers, catalyst bottles, syringes, scales. Here's some guidelines. Never go below a half a percent or above 2% of catalyst. An average mix size for laminating is about 16 ounces or 450 cc. So there's two ways to dispense catalyst safely. First, Always wear safety glasses and protective gloves. If you spill some, spread kitty litter or oil absorbent on the spill and dispose. Here's the two ounce or 60 cc bottle of catalyst. We've added one milliliter or cc graduation marks to the bottle. Holding it upright, the 60 mark is up at the 60 mark. So turn it over and squeeze and dispense out the amount required. <clears throat> Returning upright, Check for the dispensed amount. Option two, the two ounce or 60 milliliter bottle can be upside down and squeeze and dispense the amount required as you can read the amount being dispensed. Mixing from the bottom up and your resin and gel coat is properly catalyzed and mixed and ready for use. Hope this information will help you achieve professional results. Thanks for watching Rayplex and be sure to hit that subscribe button. Thank you. Hope you've enjoyed this video, so please subscribe. If you have any comments about this video or would like to suggest topics for future videos, drop us a line at www.fiberglass.com.